Hey guys, how are you today? If you saw my makeup that I am bored of video, then you know that this video is coming. <laughs> I talked about how that video kind of inspired me to do an eyeshadow palette declutter. I realized that I'm bored of a lot more eyeshadow palettes than I maybe realized in the past that I was bored of. I figure, you know what, let's just go ahead and pass those on. Eyeshadow palettes have always been the hardest thing for me to get rid of because I love eyeshadow. But my goal has always, always been to try to keep all of my eyeshadow palettes in, I've got two of these, just like little letter organizers. I have two of these and my goal has always been to try to keep my eyeshadow palettes kind of just curated down to these two letter holders. And I have palettes overflowing to the point that I cannot keep them all in here. And for some reason, every time I declutter, I'm still like, oh, it's okay, I'll just make a little pile on the side and I'll buy another letter holder. But no, I don't wanna see things just collecting dust. So I would rather pass these on to somebody that might use them and love them. Let me know if you guys do wanna see like a, once this is all done, maybe a separate video on my eyeshadow palette collection on the products that I decided to keep. Let me know in the comments down below. So the first two palettes that I decided to go ahead and get rid of are my Carity Unicorn Dreams palette and my Carity Rose All Day palette. The first one, let me show you, my Unicorn Dreams palette looks like this. Ooh, when I see that, I'm like, oh, that's so pretty. <laughs> it's got some really, really beautiful pastel shades in here. You know, you've got purples, greens, blues. You've got some neutrals in here. Something that you would think I would really gravitate towards and use a lot, but I just don't find myself ever, ever reaching for this palette. And I just bought the Morphe 35i palette, which is also a very pastel palette, and I find that one to be more inspiring when I look at it and it makes me want to use it way more than this one does. Now I also have my Carity Rose All Day palette which looks like this. This one is just kind of an all pink palette and I talked about in my last video how I'm just kind of not into the all pink palettes anymore. I don't really wear pink eyeshadow that often and when I do I already have like a set number of pink eyeshadows that I love and reach for all the time and this one is just not it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one as well. I mean, I love this shade here, but I can't keep it just for one shade, right? My Glam Light Cosmetics Royalty Palette and my Glam Light Cosmetics um, Alessandra Desi Palette. These kind of give me that same vibe of an all pink palette. They're not all pink at all, but a lot of the shades in these palettes just do end up looking very, very similar to each other, first of all, but also very, very similar to a pink shadow on the lid. Now this one, yeah, yes, you do have um, some coral shades, you do have a yellow. This one, yes, you do have some purples, you do have some greens, but even the purples in this palette end up looking quite pink. And then this one, I'm not gonna keep it just because it's got a cool yellow shade in it. Next up, I have the Luna, Ma Luna Magic Uno palette. This is one that I feel bad getting rid of because look how just intense the shadows are in here. They're very, very pigmented. But this is another one that I just, I'm never just inspired to reach for it. I feel like I have many other palettes in my collection that have very, very similar tones in them. And I just don't feel like I ever see myself reaching for this one, unfortunately. I've only had this one for a few months, like maybe six or seven months. But I haven't reached for it too often to make, to kind of justify keeping it. And I feel like someone else could get some use out of it. Next up we have the Pixie by Petra Eye Reflection Shadow Palette. This is not one that I ever thought I would get rid of because I love shimmer tones first of all and I just think it's nice to have a palette that just has kind of like every neutral shimmer tone that you need because you know, obviously you can reach for it any time. But you guys, this palette, I just feel like the shimmers aren't quite as impactful as I would like them to be. They're definitely more of that like soft, a little bit of a glisten, a little bit of a gleam kind of shimmer, which a lot of people do love. This one I'm struggling with, actually, if I'm being honest. But I think I need to go ahead and get rid of it. <laughs> and then I also have the Pixie and Rage Loves palette, which has uh, three eyeshadows in it, and then it also has three or two blushes in it. This is one that I, or two highlighters, sorry. This is one that I thought I would keep just because I love the highlighters in here. And I actually also, I love these, honestly, they're beautiful. You know what, no, I'm keeping it. Stop, don't judge me. <laughs> I'm like, wait, I do love those shimmers. I just have to remember to use them. So I'm gonna keep that one out. If I don't use it, I'll get rid of it in another declutter, I promise. Don't judge me, stop judging me. Why don't we talk about my Deck of Scarlet palettes because I have a lot, a lot of Deck of Scarlet palettes. Let's see, is that all of them? No, I've got more here. 
Okay, so I found a few deck of Scarlet Pals that I want to get rid of. They, these are tricky because I do love so many of them. But the first one I'm going to get rid of is the Edition number 10 palette, which looks like this. It's got, you know, two highlighters, three eyeshadows, or no, sorry, a highlighter, a blush, three eyeshadows, and some lip products. This is a very, very, very beautiful palette. And I actually really love, I mean, like, I love the blush here. I love this tone here. This one's really hard for me, but... Again, I just feel like I have very, very similar shades to this, and it's kind of that, that like pink, mauve kind of look that I'm not really reaching for as much right now. Maybe I'll regret this down the line, but I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one. And I'm also going to get rid of my Deck of Scarlet Edition number 14 palette, which looks like this. This one just has more tones that I'm not reaching for, like it's got, you know, a blue lipstick in it. The re really, I love the bronzer in here. I like that shade a lot. And then these are just a little bit too cool tone that I don't reach for them that often. So I think I'm going to get rid of this one. Last one that I never thought I would get rid of, but here I am, is the Deck of Scarlet. Um, ooh, what is this called? Special Edition. This is their first eyeshadow palette that they came out with, or like the full eyeshadow palette they came out with. I never thought I would get rid of this, but it's a one that, again, I think I have very, very similar tones in my collection. I do love the colors in here. I love the way the shadows perform. <sighs> it's really hard for me to get rid of these Deck of Scarlet palettes, but I just, I have so many palettes with these colors in them that I don't feel the need to keep it. Uh, next up we have the Pure Soiree Diaries palette. Um, this is what it looks like on the inside, just an all brown palette too. I kept this one because it is a very, very, very beautiful all neutral palette. I love how intense their shimmers are. I love how easily the browns blend. But I do have some other neutral palettes that I love and that I reach for all the time. And I used to reach for this one the most in my collection when it came to a neutral palette, but I actually reached for my Milani one way more than I reach for this one now. And I just have other shadows um, that kind of are along the same lines that I don't feel like I need to keep this one anymore. And this one is actually discontinued, I think, too, so I can't use it on my channel either. Might as well get rid of it. Next up, we have the Bad Habit Fantasia palette. I do still have a few Bad Habit palettes kind of lingering around. A few that I love, but this one is not one of the ones that I love. I don't reach for this one. I mean... It's a beautiful palette, but I just don't reach for this color scheme very often. You've got like two rows of neutrals, basically, and then a row of color. Again, I just have other palettes that have similar colors in them that I feel like excite me more, inspire me more. This one just isn't that inspiring to me, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it. Some other palettes that I never ever thought I would get rid of are the last of my e.l.f. 10 pan palettes. So I used to love these palettes, but I feel like, you know, this happens with kind of a lot of older eyeshadow palettes. It's like when newer formulas come in and other brands are coming out with new eyeshadows, then these just aren't as good as they used to be. I feel like these shadows now are just okay. I have my Mad for Matte palette, which is kind of like an OG neutral palette. Very nice neutral palette, but just not one that I reach for anymore. It's just not as exciting to me anymore. I also have my Sunset palette, which actually came out just last year. Very beautiful tones, but a little bit too neutral for me. I'm not reaching for them as much. Although I do find that to be a very nice summer palette. No, I'm not gonna convince myself to keep it. And then I have my, um, uh, what's this called? Modern Metals palette. Oh gosh, this one is so pretty too. But I don't reach for it. You know what? I'm gonna get rid of them. This is the last of my 10 pan palettes. The only e.l.f. palette that I really have left is their 18 pan palettes, which I do like the formula better in the 18 pan palettes than I do in these palettes. Maybe they're the same, maybe it's in my head, I don't know. But I just don't find myself reaching for these anymore, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of them. All right, so here's the pile of palettes that I'm getting rid of. I feel good about that. I feel like this is the best I've ever done with, oh my gosh, okay, go over there. That's heavy. <laughs> I feel like this is the best I've done recently on trying to get rid of eyeshadows. It's something that for some reason I just struggle with. But I think with that, I'll be able to fit all of my large eyeshadow palettes in those two letter holders, I probably could do a little bit better. And maybe I will in my next declutter. Because like my small palettes are still gonna be in these little containers here. And then I do have like my ColourPop 9 Pan palettes, which don't fit in here, that I'll probably just put on my shelf behind me like I have been, stuff like that. But I mean, other than that, I don't have any big palettes like I did like the ones that I just got rid of. 
a lot of those were just kind of like sitting to the side or I have had a lot of palettes just sitting to the side with nowhere to kind of organize them because I was just collecting too many different palettes. So I feel good about the fact that I got rid of enough that I can fit all of my big ones in my two letter holders. But that's going to do it for this declutter. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!